A TMJ4 exclusive, a possible medical breakthrough for children battling a rare type of muscular dystrophy. A new type of gene therapy that a doctor at the Medical College of Wisconsin says could be life changing. Ricky Mitchell live in Wauwatosa with the very personal connection that inspires this doctor's work. Ricky. Carol and Charles, the passion for this work started early for Dr. Michael Lawler as he watched his childhood friend battle muscular dystrophy and then die at a young age. That's when he said he knew he wanted to help children like his friend. Every day, the Whiston family has to worry about whether their son William can even breathe. He's on a ventilator. Uh, he uses that pretty much all the time. William has myotubular myopathy, a rare muscle disorder where his body doesn't produce a certain protein. But Dr. Michael Lawler's work at the Medical College of Wisconsin might one day get him out of this wheelchair. And that's what we hope for, and that's part of why we do this is one day that might be a treatment option for him. Lawler is working with researchers all over the world on a gene therapy that could stop or even reverse the effects of this disease. They've already seen success in a trial involving dogs with the same disorder. So it was very wonderful to see dogs play and fetch at an age where they could have been going down from their disease. Now they've begun human trials. My savior, a hero. <laughs> and here to witness it all, the mother of Dr. Lawler's childhood friend, Peter Tucker. The amazing thing to me was that our son would have a direct connection to possibly a cure. Dr. Lawler says he doesn't know if this will ever be a cure. He calls it a treatment option. That still seems though like it could be a breakthrough of sorts. Oh yes, yeah, very much so. I mean, uh, the, the degree of disability many of these children has is extraordinary. And if we can get them out of this sort of fragile state, that's a, that'll be an extraordinary advance. And now the human trials could take several years. They're actually still enrolling children. Unfortunately, William Whiston, who we featured in this story, is too old to take part in the trials, but his parents say they still hope that the results from this might one day help him. Reporting live outside the Medical College of Wisconsin, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4.